Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a simple health counter in your Unity game. Let's begin from adding three little health hearts to the top of our game view. I add the first one, position it and scale it. Then I duplicate this heart twice by pressing Ctrl plus D key and place them so we have three little hearts representing our health bar. I rename these hearts as Heart 1, Heart 2 and Heart 3. Next is to add a health increasing zone represented by a big heart in our case. Position it in the left side of our game view. And add a box collider which will be a trigger. I edit it a bit to match the edges of the heart better. Our healing zone gonna need a script. I called it heart script and it's quite simple one. It has only one method which is on trigger enter 2D. So if something collides with the heart then health is increased by one. Put this script to the heart game object. Ok, next game object to add is a hero. Position it in the center of our game view and change its order and layer option to 1. So the hero is rendered in front of the heart. OK. Our hero needs a rigid body 2D component cause we gonna move it. Add one and set gravity scale to 0 and collision detection to continuous. Also the hero needs a collider, circle one in this case. Edit it to fit the shape. OK. Last thing is to add a move script to the hero game object. It is a simple movement script that takes input from arrow keys in update method and gives a corresponding velocity to game object rigid body in fixed update method multiplied by move speed variable. Take this script and put it to the hero game object. Just like that. I'd like to change move speed to 5 so the hero moves a bit faster. Now let's add a death zone represented by this skewed skull. Position it at the right side of the game view and add a box collider to it. Edit the collider to fit the edges of the skull and check its trigger option. Skull needs its own script. It is the skull script. This script is nearly the same like a hard one, with the only difference that health is decreased by one if skull collides something. Put this script to the skull game object. Next game object we need is the game control. Create empty game object and name it game control. The only component this game object needs is the game control script. Let's have a look at it. Here we have four public game objects to control, which are Heart 1, Heart 2, Heart 3 and Game Over Text and public static int variable health that stores health amount. In start method we do some initialization. We enable our hearts and disable Game Over sign. Actually we don't really have to enable hearts game objects, cause they are enabled in the inspector. I put this code here just for example. Ok. Next code is in update method. First we constrain the health amount so it can't be more than 3. Then we check health variable in switch method. If its value equals to 3, then all of hearts are active. If it is equals to 2, then we disable heart 3. If it is 1, then 2 hearts are disabled. If it equals to 0, then all of the hearts are disabled, game over sign appears and time stops, so hero can't move, because it came over. That's the script. Put it to game control game object. Last game object to create is game over sign. Create new UI text game object and put game over text to it. I position it to the top holding shift key 
and edit it a bit. Set overflow, make font bigger and bold, and change its color to red. And rename text game object to keep our hierarchy a bit organized. Okay, finally we have to select game control game object and put corresponding game objects to game control script slots. That's it. Let's hit play and see how it works. And it works pretty good as I think. Thank you for watching, see you next time!